channel and thank you for joining me for another video about coronavirus and the topic for today is what should high-risk patients do in order to avoid contracting coronavirus the most important aspect of protecting yourself from coronavirus is basically just strengthening your immune system that's the number one tool we have to be able to fight off this virus and mechanism and be able to come out stronger. Now, throughout my entire experience of coronavirus, I tried asking multiple doctors besides one doctor, besides one doctor helping me with different immune boosting strategies, all my other specialists and doctors did not say anything. They didn't help me at all. They just said, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Imagine how frustrating that is when this weird foreign mechanism is inside your body and everyone just says, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. We have no answers for you. Okay? Like, <laughs> what? So thank God. Thank God. I have learned throughout my journey as a chronic illness patient how to actually strengthen my immune system and how to protect myself during like cold and flu seasons. And yes, I did contract coronavirus. <laughs> but it definitely gave me more knowledge on what I needed to do to strengthen my immune system more to be able to fight off any other types of viruses or bacteria for the rest of the year. I know all you spoonies out there and those with immune compromised situations are full of fear and doubt and just really scared at this time and feeling a little bit uneasy and that's okay, but don't focus on that. Don't harness that. Harness the strength and courage that you have, that you've overcome all your health challenges so far. And that is the beauty of this, is you have the upper hand. You being immune compromised, having chronic diseases, having prior illnesses, being able to learn through those experiences will definitely help you be able to prevent corona. And if you contract it, it will be able to help you overcome it. Because honestly, us Spoonies are so strong and we have so much knowledge and we research, we learn so much through our own experiences, our trials and errors through our diseases, that all the information that we've been able to accumulate over the years is going to help us survive this and is going to help us overcome this. So an upper hand that all Spoonies have, especially chronic Lyme disease patients, is we already were trained to wear masks during our treatments. And this was due to not contracting any other infections while we're experiencing Lyme treatment. And that's good. So use that. Harness that. <laughs> that is tip number one. Wear a mask. Tip number two. Do not touch your face. I know we all have a habit of touching our face all the time. <laughs> especially during work and especially out in public. If we have scratches or whatever, just do not touch your face whatsoever with your hands. If you have an itch somewhere, just kind of like rub it on your clothes, you know, or grab a tissue. Just do not touch your face because the germs will get on your face and you'll get sick. And that's the biggest thing that I learned was even though I had to switch gloves out, I had to sanitize my hands all the time and clean them all the time in the beginning of the pandemic when I was working, it still just wasn't enough because I did end up touching my face. So it's really good to just not touch your face and not expose yourself uh, to those germs because touching your face will just enhance your chances of getting sick, especially if you've been somewhere where other people are infected or there's germs on the surfaces. It's just always good to just not touch your face, whether it's COVID or flu or cold or anything. Tip three, treat this like any other illness. Treat this as any other illness. You've been trained for this. <laughs> You've been trained to be able to build up your immune system and prevent getting other sicknesses, especially while you're sick with your own diseases. Like you've been trained, be mindful, treat this as any other disease and just don't feed fear into this situation because that is what is going to suppress your immune system. That is what is going to manifest the germs and being able to contract it more if you're just constantly scared, constantly worried, constantly being over 
stimulate, stimulated. Um, just making sure that you are calm about this, you're stress-free, and you're just go in the grace and the flow and just trust that you are healthy, your body is healthy, your body is strong, your body is capable of fighting off germs. And having that mindset and really truly believing it will help you definitely, one, boost your immune system and two, being able to just shift your mindset to a more positive state because right now we're in a collective negative state and this is just not good for our health. It's not good for healing in general. Tip four, so strengthen your immune system by supplementing. It's not harmful to take some vitamin C, some zinc, some vitamin Bs, vitamin D, glutathione, it's actually really helpful for your body to be able to get those nutrients that they mainly are neglected in, that they are deficient in. And it's really helpful to boost your immune system and create the antioxidants and be able to help other organs function well during this time, especially when you wanna strengthen your immune system. It helps the immune system be able to fight off different invaders. And even before I contracted uh, COVID, I was taking vitamin C, zinc, uh, vitamin Bs, vitamin D, etc. all the other vitamins uh, prior to contracting it. And then when I did contract it and I knew I was sick, I was taking it daily, very often. I was taking all my supplements daily and it definitely helped me be able to feel somewhat strong enough to fight, especially in the state that my body was in. So supplements are really helpful, especially during cold and flu seasons and especially during a pandemic. Tip five, and my favorite one, because I'm a vegan, <laughs> but eat your leafy greens, eat your greens, eat your vegetables, make your meals be mainly composed of vegetables because vegetables are so healthy for you. They build you up. They help you detox all the stuff that is not good out of your body. It helps your body function better and you feel more energized. It helps clear your skin, etc. Vegetables and leafy greens are really good detoxifiers for your blood and your body. And so when you incorporate uh, more leafy greens and more vegetables, your body will thank you. As well as even green juices too, that also helps like in the morning time, like celery juice on the empty stomach, as well as, you know, uh, cucumber, spinach, kale, different types of smoothies, different types of juices, just fresh organic vegetables and leafy greens will definitely help build your immune system as well as your body. Tip six. So what's really important is going outside, being in nature, getting fresh air. Don't just close yourself up inside, which is ironic because I'm making this video inside right now. <laughs> but seriously, go outside, get some sun, get some fresh air daily. Go walk in nature, even if it's like at a park or just down the neighborhood. Like it's really healthy to have your body feel the sunshine, feel the fresh air because that reduces stress that helps bring peace, and that is just so healing. Nature is so healing. Tip seven. So the most important thing that you can do for your immune system to protect it is just avoid touching doorknobs, avoid touching grocery baskets, avoid touching gas pumps. And I've done this for years. Like as soon as I developed autoimmune diseases, I learned how to like wrap doorknobs with little paper towels, uh, make sure I wipe off the baskets with hand sanitizer wipes, etc. That is so huge in being able to prevent germs from being touched on your face if you end up touching your face as well as on all your objects like your phone where we touch our phone all the time. Also sanitizing your phone too. Tip eight. So for the spoonies out there, for the immune compromise, just avoid large crowds. Tip nine, so what you really need to do to avoid contracting COVID is manage your stress. I can't say this enough, and this is something that I've had a really hard time learning my lessons in, and that will be a different video for a different time of all the ways that you can reduce your stress and different types of habits and modalities for healing, etc. But the number one 
way to help build your immune system is to just reduce your stress. Learn how to manage your stress. That's with emotions, that's with work, that's with people, that's with just situations. Even your thoughts in your head can stress you out. So a beautiful way to reduce stress is through breath work. And that honestly is amazing because it not only reduces stress and builds your immune system, it actually builds your lung, it strengthens your lungs. And if you end up contracting COVID, you need strong lungs to be able to fight this off because even if you have strong lungs, it can take you out. So you need to be able to have a way of managing your stress as well as building your lungs. And so one way to manage your stress is by doing breath work. Just being in the moment, being present, just breathing, just feeling that air go in your lungs and just appreciating just what breath is to you and that f the fact that breath is life. Breath is life-giving and that's so beautiful. So just appreciate, be grateful, manage your stress, and be mindful. Tip 10. So the best thing that you can do for preventing contracting COVID and building your immune system and just dealing with this whole crazy situation is just live your life. Just keep living your life. Don't live in fear. Don't let the fear grasp you. That is the number one thing is seriously, do not succumb to all the news feeds. Don't succumb to the social media of negativity and just fear and, and doubt and just all this negative low vibrational energy. Don't succumb to it. Live your life. Yes, follow the mandates, follow the rules, but don't forget to live your life. Be happy, be joyful, just embrace life because life is so fragile. And I learned, I already knew that it was fragile. And of course, patients with chronic disease and immune compromised situations know that life is fragile because that's just what we beg is just to live life. But it's harder because we're so restricted due to sickness. But just live your life enjoy life see the people that you love because you don't know when it's the last time you're going to talk to them you don't know it's when it's the last time you're going to see them and especially during this time how quickly covid can spread and take away people it's very important to just still just socialize with your loved ones be there with your loved ones create memories go on experiences that you can like hiking or just seeing nature or just seeing the sunrise every morning, making a habit of self-care and self-love. Just live your life. Just enjoy living this moment in time because this isn't going to happen again. You're living in history right now. This is a historical moment in history. It's a pandemic where it's just made our life, our lives completely turn upside down. Like this is a culture shock, a life shock, a world shock and we are alive. We are alive and surviving this. So just live and appreciate your life because it's the most beautiful gift you can have. So yeah, just live. If you have any questions about wanting to boost your immune system or protect yourself from COVID, or you just wanna connect with me, a fellow Spoonie, and just talk about anything, just like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll get back to your comments because I truly value what you guys need to say and I want to hear what you guys have to say and you're not alone. I don't want you to feel alone because this is a crazy time and we all need to be coming together, connecting, helping one another, and just supporting one another through this bizarre time.